It's the 27th of May, and Scott and Josh in the back seat and I are heading up the road to Central Missouri to assist the landowner. And typically, I let interns drive, so I can be working. I get the Mac here in my lap. I'm responding to viewers' questions right now. It's a cloudy day. It's going to be a great day out in the field. We're going to see some relatively new habitat types for these guys. Scott is, of course, from Alabama, and I just learned yesterday uh, that Josh had never been further west of Tennessee. So here we are in Missouri. We're going to see a little different habitat today. But you'll be able to apply a lot of these techniques to wherever you end up working. So it's going to be a great day. Come along, see how the Growing Deer team helps landowners. Hey, we're working on a property in central Missouri today, and the landowner just shared with me, I saw on YouTube, the boy cut stumps and the woody brows come back and the deer would love it. Well, you can see where he cut this stump and all these stump sprouts, probably 10 or more have come up and there's no brows. I mean, now it's grown, well, you know, I can touch an eight foot ceiling, so it's probably almost 16 feet tall. There's no chance there's any deer food there. He went through all that work and got nothing in. Of course, it's shaded out everything now. You look down here, there's a little bit of fragrant shumac, but not much growing here. But if he would have killed this tree with hack and squirt, and let sunshine down like we just walked through over here, man, there's all kind of great native legumes and forbs growing. So be cautious what you hear and what you practice. You may want to go somewhere in your neighborhood and see if someone else has applied it and see if you like the results before you give up a bunch of Saturdays and do a technique that may not yield the results you want.